Hi everybody and welcome back. This is Final Hydra and today we're going to be playing another game of Dead by Daylight. You know what time it is. It's time to be a survivor again. So let's let's just jump right in and see what we can do. Looks like I, I think I, I've never used the flashlight. I, I brought it on a mission once off camera and died immediately. So I never even really got to do anything with it. I've heard that if you shine it in the killer's eyes on a blue moon during the leap year it can stun him I have never seen it actually happen and I uh, and as a killer I have never actually been stunned by the flashlight only mildly annoyed and then stabbed the person harder so we're gonna give it the best shot we got we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do Radio Shack Dave you know quality items he buys at the store that he works for Hopefully our flashlight will do the job it's meant to do, but that's only if we encounter the killer, which we don't want to do anyway. We just want to get the hell out of here. So we're going to try to we're going to try to do our damnedest just to fix these generators and get the hell out of there. And if I never see him and I never have to actually use the flashlight, I won't be too upset. Here it is pretty good if uh if he has somebody in there like on his shoulder, that's when the flashlight excels. Um but, like I said, this is all hearsay. I've never seen it happen, and it's never happened to me. So, we're going to have to take it with a grain of salt. Alright, alright, let's see. Are there any generators right by us? Well, that's the wall of the level, so they ain't going to be right there. I'm thinking this way. I'm thinking this way. Everyone else is going that way. Which is fine. Sometimes you don't... Oh, right here. They all ran the other way. There was one right here. I don't hear the wraith bell, so... That's always good, too. I think I'm better off just not playing against the wraith. Let's try to keep our eyes peeled. And our fingers ready. I wonder where those guys all ran off to. They seem like they knew where they were going. Great skill check. Oh, man. Radio Shack Dave's really in the zone today, and now I'm going to mess up the next one because I said that. They all seem like they knew where they were going somewhere specific. Ooh. Ooh. He's right there. He's going along the back wall. Oh, there he goes. There, there he goes. I think he's coming back. Oh, God, no. God, no, I'm a young man. I'm a young man. I don't need this. I'm, I'm gonna run. I don't really care. At this point, he went the other way. So what I'm trying to do is just get the hell away from him. Ooh, she's healing me. Ted the Bellhop. I'm liking you. You're my hero right now. Oh, you are awesome, Ted. You are awesome. See, right there, I got too scared to actually even attempt to use the flashlight. And Ted seems to be following me. Let's go back and get that generator that we started up and running. I think it was right here, and I just happened upon it. I can hear it. There it is. Alright, now maybe with Ted the Bellhop given me some much needed assistance. Not really much needed. I, I'm the MVP. I don't need your help. We're going to get this thing going and we're going to go try to save our teammate over there. Oh, God. 
God. I'm so sorry, friend. There you go. Sometimes that's all you can do is just is just be a distraction long enough to help somebody get away from him. Now I did my my duties as a, as the flashlight guy. I was there. I proved to be a distraction, and I think it worked out well for everyone involved. Girl, you need to fix yourself and not die. If you keep stabbing yourself, it's not going to help anybody. She's really bad at the skill check for the, the healing. Like, who am I to, to judge, but... Alright, now the trapper's probably... setting up shop down there by here. See if I can't heal you. There you go, buddy. All right, so we got this generator going. Are we gonna go try to be heroes? I'm kind of out in the open. I don't know. Everything I've learned at Radio Shack has taught me to not be a hero. This here seems to be the way out. Who knows, maybe that other girl's already down there saving her. I mean, I did what I had to earlier. I distracted him with the flashlight. You got caught again. I mean, that, that's not my fault. I, I did my part, didn't I? Oh, I'm the worst, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I did my part. All right, he's coming now, definitely. All right, let's get him moving. Let's get him moving. You should never. I gotta, I, oh man, it's every man for himself right now. Once this door's open, maybe, maybe another story will happen, but. Where is, oh, that is so far away. That is so far away, and I never win as the survivor. I want to help, though. Maybe that's why I'm not a good survivor, because it, it's all about me in my mind. I don't know where they're, where they are. The thing has disappeared. Oh, dead. No need to help him anymore. Time to leave. That was easy. That helped my decision making process a lot. Yeah, waste my flashlight battery. That'll teach you. You don't keep a good radio shack, Dave, down. I'm trying to sit here. Maybe if I can, I wish I could communicate with the girl to just run this way. I don't know if it's possible. She's probably out there running in circles around that guy. Well, can't save them all, but I can save myself. And that's what matters. I survived. Well, that was actually a great game. We had some close encounters with the killer. We, we saved somebody. We healed somebody. I mean, there was a lot of stuff that we did, and that's excellent. Look at I, one more game, and I rank up as a survivor. I don't know if that'll ever happen, but it's a fun dream to hold on to, isn't it, folks? This has been Final Hydra. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you want to subscribe to see more of my content when it comes out, that's appreciated as well. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.